Hey everyone, welcome to TED Talk. Today, we will learn about Chipola's Five Laws of Human Stupidity. With Chipola as our guide, we'll navigate through the maze of silliness, uncovering nuggets of wisdom hidden amidst the chaos. So get ready for a wild ride as we explore the quirks and curiosities of human stupidity like never before. Number 1. The Law of Underestimation In the grand tapestry of human behavior, Carlo M. Cipolla uncovered profound insights that continue to resonate through the ages. One of his seminal observations, the Law of Underestimation, sheds light on a universal tendency ingrained within us all. Imagine a bustling marketplace, where people weave through the crowds, each lost in their own world. Amidst the chatter and hustle, Chipola's law of underestimation whispers its timeless truth. Always and inevitably, everyone underestimates the number of stupid individuals in circulation. At first glance, it may seem like a harsh assessment of humanity. Yet, upon closer examination, the wisdom of Chipola's words begins to reveal itself. Picture a group of friends, laughing and sharing stories over a meal. In their midst, there may be a few individuals who stand out for their wit and intelligence. But hidden among them, unnoticed and underestimated, are those whose actions may defy logic and reason. The law of underestimation serves as a cautionary tale reminding us that folly often lurks in unexpected places. It's like walking through a field of wildflowers, where beauty abounds but thorns lie in wait beneath the surface. Similarly, in the vast landscape of human interaction, there are complexities and nuances that defy our attempts at categorization. Consider a workplace scenario, where colleagues collaborate on a project. While some may excel with their innovative ideas and strategic thinking, others may falter with their short-sightedness or lack of foresight. In such moments, Chipola's law of underestimation comes into play, challenging us to look beyond outward appearances and recognize the inherent variability of human behavior. As the sun sets on another day and the bustle of the marketplace gives way to the quiet of the night, Chipola's law of underestimation lingers in the air like a haunting melody. It serves as a reminder that, in the intricate dance of human interaction, humility and awareness are our most valuable allies. For only by acknowledging the full spectrum of human folly can we hope to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and grace. Number 2. The Law of Universality In the grand exploration of human behavior, Carlo M. Cipolla unveiled his remarkable insights encapsulated in the law of universality. This law, though it may sound complex, holds a simple yet profound truth about the nature of silliness in all of us. Picture yourself in a big classroom, surrounded by classmates of different ages, backgrounds, and personalities. Now, Cipolla's law of universality tells us that the chance of someone doing something silly doesn't depend on anything else about them. It's like saying anyone can have their moments of goofiness, no matter who they are or where they come from. Think about a day at school when you're working on a group project. You might think the older kids are always super smart and never do anything silly. But then, one of them accidentally spills juice all over their homework, or they forget to bring their part of the project altogether. That's the law of universality in action reminding us that silliness can happen to anyone, no matter their age or reputation. It's like going to a party where you expect everyone to act all grown up and serious. But then, even the adults start playing games and telling jokes like kids. That's the beauty of Chipola's Law. It shows us that silliness knows no bounds and can bring joy and laughter to people of all ages. So, whether you're young or old, rich or poor, Remember that we're all susceptible to moments of silliness. Embrace your inner goofball, laugh at yourself, and don't be afraid to let loose and have fun. After all, life's too short to take ourselves too seriously, and sometimes the silliest moments are the ones we cherish the most. Number 3. The Law of Consequences In the vast landscape of human behavior, 
Carlo M. Cipolla unearthed the gem of wisdom known as the Law of Consequences. This law, though it may sound serious, carries a simple yet profound message about the impact of silly actions. Imagine you're playing with the ball in the house, despite your mom's warning not to. Suddenly, you accidentally knock over a vase and it shatters into pieces. That's where Chipola's Law of Consequences comes into play. It says that silly people often cause problems for others without gaining anything themselves. It's like when you break the vase, you not only make a mess, but also create a problem for your mom, who now has to clean it up and maybe even buy a new one. Now, think about a day at school when you and your classmates are working on a science experiment together. One of your friends decides to mix all the ingredients in the wrong order, and the experiment ends up exploding. That's another example of the law of consequences. Someone's silly mistake leads to a big mess and maybe even some danger for everyone involved. It's like going to a picnic and someone forgetting to put the lid on the lemonade jug. When they go to pour a glass, the lemonade spills everywhere and ruins the sandwiches and snacks. That's the law of consequences in action. A small mistake leads to a big mess and maybe even some hungry picnic goers. So, the next time you're tempted to do something silly, remember Chipola's law of consequences. It's like a reminder to think before you act and consider how your actions might affect others. After all, nobody wants to clean up a mess or deal with the consequences of someone else's silly behavior. Number four, the law of underestimation redux. In the grand tapestry of human folly, Carlo M. Cipolla's insights shine brightly, illuminating the intricacies of our behavior. One such revelation is the law of underestimation redux, a concept that delves into the depths of our perceptions and expectations. Imagine you're at a party, surrounded by friends and laughter. Everyone seems pretty smart and sensible, right? Well, that's where Chipola's law of underestimation redux comes into play. It says that smart folks often underestimate how much trouble silly people can cause. Picture this. You're playing a game of tag with your friends and you think you're the fastest runner in the group. But then, someone surprises you by darting past you with lightning speed and tagging you before you even realize what's happening. That's the law of underestimation redux in action reminding us that even the most unlikely individuals can catch us off guard with their silly antics. Now, let's think about a day at school when you and your classmates are working on a project together. You might assume everyone's going to do their part and contribute equally. But then, someone forgets to do their share of the work, or they accidentally delete the entire presentation. That's another example of the law of underestimation redux thinking everything will go smoothly until something unexpected happens. It's like going to a picnic and assuming the weather will be sunny all day. But then, out of nowhere, dark clouds roll in, and it starts pouring rain, soaking everyone's sandwiches and ruining the fun. That's the law of underestimation redux, thinking everything will be fine until reality proves us wrong. So. The next time you're tempted to underestimate the potential for silly behavior, remember Chipola's Law of Underestimation Redux. It's like a wake-up call to stay vigilant and not let our guard down, even when things seem to be going smoothly. After all, life is full of surprises, and sometimes the most unexpected moments are the ones that teach us the most. Number 5. The Law of Danger In the vast expanse of human behavior, Carlo M. Cipolla uncovered a profound truth encapsulated in the law of danger. This law, though it may sound ominous, offers invaluable insights into the potential consequences of human folly. Imagine you're walking along a narrow path, surrounded by towering cliffs and jagged rocks. Suddenly, you come across a sign warning of danger ahead. That's where Cipolla's law of danger comes into play. It warns us that silly people can be the most dangerous of all, capable of causing harm and chaos to themselves and those around them. Think about a day at school when you and your classmates are working on a group project. 
One of your friends decides to play a prank by putting glue on someone's chair, thinking it'll be funny. But when the person sits down, they get stuck and end up getting hurt. That's an example of the law of danger. Someone's silly actions lead to real harm and danger. Now, let's imagine you're at a party and someone starts playing with firecrackers indoors, despite warnings not to. Suddenly, one of the firecrackers explodes, causing a small fire and sending everyone into a panic. That's another example of the law of danger. Someone's reckless behavior puts everyone's safety at risk. It's like going on a hike and deciding to take a shortcut through a dense forest, even though you know it's dangerous. Along the way, you slip on a patch of mud and sprain your ankle, leaving you stranded and vulnerable. That's the law of danger in action. Ignoring warnings and taking unnecessary risks that can lead to serious consequences. So, the next time you're tempted to do something silly or reckless, remember Chipola's law of danger. It's like a reminder to think before you act and consider the potential consequences of your actions. After all, life is precious and it's important to prioritize safety and responsibility in everything we do. Chipola's laws serve as a powerful reminder of the inherent complexity and unpredictability of human nature. They encourage us to approach life with a sense of curiosity and wonder, embracing the richness and diversity of human experience with open hearts and open minds. Thanks for watching. See you next video.